Hey horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of Slumber Party Massacre. Yes. Uh, cast and crew information down below. And let's start off with this IMDb plot. Uh, there's two of them here, and I usually always read the first one, but I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. I'm going to read the second one first, and then I'll read the first first one after, and uh, then we'll dive into this. Uh, based on the 1982 original, this remake follows Dana and a group of her friends as they go on a trip to have a slumber party. But after a car trouble causes them to stay at a secluded cabin, their fun turns to terror as their night becomes a fight for survival as they must escape a drill-wielding killer. Okay, that, that sounds like a fun plot. Uh, and a fun plot that we've heard uh, in similar ways before. Now here's the, the other uh, uh, plot they put up here on IMDb. Uh, and this is the first one they, should, they, they have up there. A feminist remake of the 1982 slasher film about sorority girls attacked by a maniac killer with a large electric drill. Uh, maybe not as exciting sounding, but definitely uh, kind of gives you something interesting to think about here. Uh, let's see, to kind of set this up, uh, this was, uh, and I know I'm, I'm a little late, you know, putting, doing this review, and, and I, I will admit that I kind of recorded it, and I just recently saw it, um, lots going on in October, so this came on Sci-Fi, this was the, the remake that they showed on Sci-Fi, um, during the month of October, and, uh, you know, I, I couldn't catch it when it came on, so I recorded it, and I just recently got to see it, so I know I'm a little late to the party here, um, I don't know where you can see this I, I, now, or uh, I would I would guess maybe Sci-Fi is you know shown on repeats, and I would assume it would come out on, on video or DVD or whatever at, at some point. Um, but I, I you know I, I watched it you know I didn't I didn't know you know what to expect from this you know I I, I think in the in the trailers or whatever they they kind of just seems what it is and what I, what I guess the, the first plot that I read um, but then I think at a certain point in this one uh, you find out it is it is part of that plot but also part of the, the second plot that I read um, and, and I'm gonna dive into that in a second and I think that's what kind of really makes this interesting here um, so I know this is kind of new but I'm not gonna be completely spoiler free here um, because I kind of want to dive into to what they do here and I think that I have to at least spoil a, a little bit of what is happening here I, I'm not gonna I, I won't dive too much into the killer or what eventually happens at the end um, but I, I do want to dive into a little bit of the, of the twist here in the story and obviously that, that kind of is, is the I guess the feminist part that they're, they're talking about here at the beginning um, but, uh, and to kind of do that, let, let's kind of start at the top of this movie, you know, it, it shows the time, uh, shows a bunch of, of girls in a cabin, and, um, here comes the killer, he's gonna kill them all, one girl's actually gonna escape, and the killer's gonna disappear, and nobody knows where the killer went, but there's gonna be a, a, a girl that actually survives this. Uh, long and behold, so now we're years later, and uh, we see this, this, or you're going to assume that this is the woman that that's all grown up now that survived this incident, and she has a daughter, and she's very protective. Her daughter always has been, um, and obviously her daughter has taken this as you know her mom's being overbearing and, and on top of her and too late over too protective and so forth. But it's come time for her daughter to to kind of go out with her friends and they want to go on this little vacation a little group time together of course the mom is all paranoid and you just make sure that you do this that and blah blah and all that kind of good stuff that i'm sure some of you got from your mothers when you went away for the first time and um you know the girls are going to go um you know as you're going to be watching this you know they're going to go they're going to do the same the the usual things like kind of everything that I, that was mentioned in the plot they're going to go they're going to drive um you're going to see a bunch of wild girls um you know most of them are around the same age one of them kind of tags along that wasn't supposed to one of the girl's sisters 
maybe be a little bit younger, but still old enough. And um, they're going to do the, the old, you know, we're going to stop here, we're going to stop at a creepy place. Um, you know, maybe a little weird things that are happening here and there. The car is going to break down. So they supposedly end up having to stay somewhere that they didn't want to. But there's going to be a little bit more to this because they actually really wanted to be there. Um, and that's where the fun part here is. This. So two things they do here. And, 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 you know, I guess this is where we're going to dive a little bit into the spoilerness of, of here. Because they're going to get to a point here and, and everything is like your standard kind of horror movie that, that we all see. You know, you have the young teens, and, you know, in this case it's all, it's all girls, but, you know, sometimes it's a mix, sometimes it's, you know, all boys, all girls, whatever. Uh, you know, the car is broken down, they've had, you know, their cell phone reception is not good, they're in the middle of nowhere, they're staying in a house where, you know, that's a little bit creepy and away from, uh, you know, normal society and, and, and away, uh, enough away from immediate help and uh, so we have a lot of the standard set up here. Uh, long and behold, before you know it, uh, they're going to kind of flip it on you and they flip it on you with, you know, the girls are there for a reason. They're not, you know, weak girls who, oh, you know, we're damsels in distress. Our car broke down. What are we going to do? Here comes the killer. We're scared. We're scared. We're scared. And we're going to die, die, and die. And we're going to have final girl, and, and she's going to have the victory. No. <laughs> they, they do a very nice job, and again, here comes the spoilerness, of flipping on you that the girls knew damn well what they were doing. They set up their car break, breaking down. They set up, you know, kind of getting introduced to the right person. to kind of ending up in this house. Why? Because they want the killer to come. They want to, they know that he's still out there, or they're assuming he's still out there. And they're setting up the perfect situation for him to come by and want to kill. But they're ready for him. They've brought their own machete, bat, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Each of them kind of has their own weapon. And they are ready to trap the killer. So this is a, a nice twist, something a little different, something we don't see so, too often. Um, you know, off the top of my head, I don't think I've seen anything kind of go in this direction. Um, you know, I, I think we've seen certain characters maybe be more prepared at times for certain horror situations. Um, you know, I think we've seen... There's comedic moments in this. I'm not going to say this is a horror comedy, though. I think this is more of a, of a straight horror. Um, you know, there are a few moments to, to laugh at. Um, but I don't... I'm not ready to say that it's a horror comedy. I don't even know. Do they say it here? No, it's just this is this horror here. So, um, you know, so props for them to kind of flipping it on them and, and kind of doing that. Um... You know, the, the killer is going to come and, uh, you know, they're going to be prepared. Now, you know, do they do the best job of it? Or is it smooth? No, they, they, they're going to kind of stumble their way through it. Um, and then to kind of top it off, they have another twist for you. And again, you know, I, I hate, you know, I, I hate doing reviews where I kind of give stuff away. But I, I just, I have... You know, sometimes you just have to talk about stuff. And uh, there's a little bit more of a twist here. Um, while they figure out that there is a killer and, and when they're about to start going to battle with him, they also find out that there's a cabin or house that's not too far away from them, within a reasonable distance. And it's full of guys. And the guys are just having their own slumber party. And their own thing going on. And if I would say there's any comic relief here, I guess it is a little bit more with the guys. Um, there's even two guys, and they kind of name them Guy 1 and Guy 2. Now, I'm going to say that that it wasn't, in my eyes, 100% clear. And again, you know, this is where you know, I might be a little bit out of touch um, with, with what's going on these days. It was not 
totally clear on me that all of the guys were gay. I'm going to say that some of them were. Um, maybe they all were, and, and I missed it. I'm gonna, I guess I should assume that they all were. I'm not going to say they all were for sure. Um, but I, you know, I, I think it's clear at least some of them are, if not all. Which is fine, I'm, you know, no problem there. Uh, but they kind of flip it on it on you here, and kind of turn the guys into what you would probably normally see with the girls. You know, kind of being like a little bit more scared, a little bit unprepared, um, a little bit more easy pickings for the killer. And it, and uh, what happens is that that in why I'm a little thrown off is because you know two guys do show up at the cabin. They do see the girls. They are looking at the girls. And um, you, you kind of uh, get that hint that, uh, you know, maybe, you know, they're, they're checking them out or whatever. So they go and they knock on the door. Maybe they're interested in them. They go in. The girls are kind of like checking them out, but not really. But then the girls are like, hey, you know, kind of having a side to them. Like the killer's on the loose. You know, do we let them know? Do we let them know what we're doing? But, you know, we're really trying to kill this person. Do we not? So they... But then they're like, well, if we don't tell them, then they're putting their lives in danger. So they, they kind of are at that crossroads of what do they do, but they kind of let them go back to the cabin, but then they have second thoughts of, oh, no, we need to tell them. So they kind of go over to their cabin, and as opposed to seeing a scene where, you know, you're checking out the girls, you know, kind of having their wild slumber party thing, they kind of flip it on you, and here you are, the girls are watching the guys, and the guys all of a sudden break out in this pillow fight, and, and it's kind of doing the same kind of moment that, you know, at least I'm used to seeing is, you know, maybe the girls having a pillow fight or jumping all them down and and with their underwear on or whatever. In, in some of the other movies that we've seen, here you have these guys, that most of them have their shirts off and they're having this big pillow fight there. So, you know, it's, it's totally giving you a different angle here. Um, you know, kind of just, you know, not being afraid to flip things on you, flip things on the audience there. Um, so again, you know, I applaud them for, for changing things up here uh, um, and doing so in a, in a way that makes it work. You know, didn't go too far out there, made it within the story, I think. Um, you know, I'm not totally sold on why, you know, guys go out, you know, the guys are out there in the cabin, whatever, you know, I don't know. But, you know, whatever, for whatever reason, you know, girls do it, guys can do it too, I guess, I don't know. Um, not of my, not of my interest, but whatever. Um, you know, I don't know, that, that might be the, the correcting bell, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, applaud them for, for kind of doing the, the, the flip of situations here. Obviously, uh, that gives the killer more of a chance to kill, kill some people, kill some of the guys, um, here. So, you know, kind of gives you, uh, that kind of chance. Um, you know, I thought, you know, the deaths were okay. Uh, I guess it was on sci-fi, so I, I, I don't know if there's an un or will be an unrated version of this where maybe we can see a little bit more detail. Uh, I thought they still showed a reasonable amount. Um, I thought it was fun when the girls actually do take down the killer. And I'm going to say that, that they do, and they take down the killer. But, you know, knowing in standard form, standard horror form, uh, just because they, they, they take down the killer doesn't doesn't mean that, that that's the end of the show here. Um, and I guess that that's as far as I'll go there. But when they take down the killer, you know, I think, you know, another good thing they do here is, is you know, they try to stay within what you say, what you believe in a horror movie, that the killer is going to get up and whatever. So, you know, they, they tell one girl, don't, you know, leave the body. And they tell another girl, don't leave the body. Make sure you're watching the body. And... Uh, Let's say, let's just say they eventually leave the body, and then you know that that kind of sets up a further ending here. Um, I'm not going to spoil the further ending here. Um, obviously, there's a little bit more to the story, even a little bit more involved with the killer and what's happening there. Um, you know, I, while they made it seem a little bit easy, it wasn't totally easy. Um, like I said, you know, there there are going to be some deaths. Um, from the guys and then uh, from the girls as well so it wasn't as easy it didn't go as easy as the girls planned and, and I think um, they kind of you kind of see that um, 
and the, and the kind of, I guess, what you consider the final act of the, of the movie and so forth, or after they, they thought he was dead and, and um, apparently is not. And, and I'll, I'll kind of leave it at that before I, I say anything that, that's, that completely ruins every single thing, even though I've ruined a lot already. Um, but I, I just, you know, I, I, you know, because they flip it, you know, whatever, maybe, you know, that, that might not work for everybody and that might not make everybody happy. I know a lot of people are, are you know, kind of set in their ways and then happy with the, with the standard horror formula here. But, um, I, I again applaud them for, for doing the flip. I think they made it enjoyable. You know, I think sometimes they, they can flip things and, 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 and it can be a pain in the ass and it doesn't work or, um, they can do too much to kind of drive home the point of what they're doing. Um, I, I thought this was rather smooth and then, um, you know, kind of went along their business and, and kind of gave you everything without having, you know, hammering around. It wasn't like the girls would say, oh, we're different than boys. We're going to, you know, kill everybody here and we're going to take charge. No, you know, it's just kind of like they set everything up. They kind of knew the routine. They knew their horror. They knew then, you know, if they broke down and they did X and Y, Z, um, here they would end up in the right spot and, 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 and long behold, the, the killer would come. So they kind of, you know, a little bit played on the horror trope there and, and so forth, but it was fine. Uh, I don't think they were, um, went too far in, in trying to drill home any specific point and, and make you kind of puke at it um, as you're watching it. I, th I think, you know, it just was part of the plot and part of, part of the way it went. Um, so with that, I think I'm going to give it, um, uh, I don't know, Three, I'm going to give it three pools of blood. Um, you know, if they do come out with maybe an un or unrated version, maybe show some more blood, you know, I don't know if there was room for that or not. Uh, maybe I would have given it a little bit higher, just because I, I, like to, I like to see it a little bit more. Um, you know, not that they did a bad job or anything like that. There, there's still, you know, some good blood splattering moments here. Um, especially with the one girl just goes to town and the killer towards when they, when they think they have him. Um, which was fun, um, but yeah, you know, you know what? I'll give it three. I'll I'll change. That. I'll give it three point five for for creativity, um, for and for being willing to, to go the extra mile. I, and I'm not gonna make this a big comparison to the original movie. Um, I'll say it's been a long time since I saw the original movie. I, I'm gonna assume. Uh, you know, I don't remember a whole lot about it. I can just kind of, um, kind of picture how I assume it goes um, I, I don't remember the specifics of that movie so I'm not you know you, you'll find that this is not a review comparing it of that and uh, I think of you'll find that the movies are, are very different um, or at least this one is, is, is kind of a flip on, on the standard or what you would expect um, so yeah I guess if you're if you're looking for that direct comparison I guess you know I'm sorry I can't give it I'm not gonna give that can't give it to you I, I really you know hate doing that I, I anyway you know I, I prefer rather to complain about remakes on, on just because they did a remake but you know I think you know you know, now I'm kind of thinking about it as I'm rambling on here you know I, I kind of gave it to Black Christmas because I, I really didn't like what they did there um, I thought that movie tried to ram it down your throats way too much, and, and I really didn't think that that movie needed to be named Black Christmas at the end of the day. And you can go back and watch that that review if you want. Um, I believe I did a video. I'm not sure if I did a video review for that or not, but um, that's a very good review if you want to. If you want to see me really mad at something, eh? mad at a movie, you can go back and catch that review. Um, but yeah, you know, again. You know, I guess, you know, the door is always open. I guess, you know, they could have called this movie a different title and, 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 and ran with it. Um, but I don't know. I guess I guess my lack of, of remembering exactly how the original was, um, you know, it's, it's not going to dive me into directly complaining about it. I, I you know, I they certainly could have. And I guess, you know, there, there's room there in, in a lot of cases um, for it. But... Either way, you know, I, I think by having a slumber party massacre it still kind of adds to the point of, of were they able to flip it and they were and do it in a decent manner um, without, you know, driving you crazy having to have that, that point shoved down your throat. I just, I, 
make your point and go with it. I, I don't, I don't like it, you know, um, over and over and, and, and in my horror. And you know, I, I, it's fine. It can get into, you know, you can make your point in the horror world. Uh, but I, I, again, you know, want to enjoy the deaths and the blood and, and so forth and and the story and where it's going. And I, I don't, you know, adding the social commentary is fine. Ramming it down your throats. I, <laughs> Use a different platform, please. Um, leave my horror out of it. Um, anyway, I, enough of the rambling. Rambling too much here at the end. Um, 3.5 pools of blood out of 5. We'll go with that. Uh, hopefully, you know, if you guys missed it, you can still catch it somewhere, somehow. Um, anyway, horrorscorereviews.blogspot.com is where you can find more of these reviews. Um, the written ones for sure. Um, if you're just interested in the video ones, you can subscribe to the channel. And uh, Twitter, Facebook information down below. If you want to reach out and talk about this or other horror, horror, other horror movies. If you need me to review something, the same for the comment section. Uh, feel free to use it as you want. Um, yeah, that's uh, enough. I I'm going to not go on a slumber party massacre. Um, my slumber party days are over, and I definitely don't want to be massacred, so I will catch you on the next review of Horror Fans.